Brian Elver is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sumbervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. So as mentioned in the opening segment, Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio's Hell in a Cell match looks like it will be taking place a little earlier than expected. WWE announced yesterday that Reigns will defend his Universal title against Mysterio in a Hell in a Cell match on this Friday's episode of SmackDown. The match had originally been set for Hell in a Cell. The announcement of the match being moved up was made after Mysterio tweeted that he can't wait any longer to face Reigns. It's eating me up inside. I can't wait any longer. I want the Hell in a Cell match tomorrow night. Reigns then responded, Sunday, Friday, any day. Makes no difference to me. It'll be my pleasure to disgrace what's left of your family name tomorrow. And then there's like a lot of other stuff right here. And listen, I have no inside information about why this match is taking place tonight. Okay. Obviously, there have been a lot of rumors about why this match would be taking place tonight, but it's all speculation. So don't write some story saying that I'm reporting this. But obviously, people have speculated, for example, they decide they don't want to beat down Rey Mysterio on Sunday, on Father's Day. But it's like. It, They've never cared about beating down Rey Mysterio before. Why would it make any difference now? Been speculation that Roman Reigns doesn't want to wrestle on Father's Day. Okay, well, if that's the case, more power to the guy, first off. I wouldn't want to wrestle on Father's Day. But you guys didn't know Father's Day was coming? Like, I knew it was coming a month ago because I figured that Rey Mysterio and Dominic would win the tag titles so that they could lose them on Father's Day at the pay-per-view. We were talking about this a month ago. Father's Day didn't come out of nowhere. So... I cannot figure out for the life of me what happened here because if you want to do the match on TV instead of at the pay-per-view, whatever, dude. It's TV, and you make your mo- you make most of your money off TV. You've already made your money off Peacock. It's not like you're going to make an additional penny putting this match on pay-per-view. But with that said, announce it a week ago. Announce it two weeks ago. I know some people are thinking, oh, this is going to really boost this SmackDown number. Listen, maybe it will. Dave has claimed that they announce things on social media and the numbers go up. I find it hard to believe that if you would have announced it two weeks ago, that it was going to be tomorrow, tonight on television, that it wouldn't have done significantly. I, I, I don't think the show's doing 2 million viewers. I've been wrong before. I don't think it's happening here tonight. So whatever the reason for changing it was, it's whatever the reason was. But I just feel like... Why didn't we announce this a week ago? Why didn't we announce this two weeks ago? I don't get it. But I never get it. I'm, I'm constantly baffled when I report on WWE. But if you guys want to see the match, it is uh, Rey Mysterio Roman Reigns tonight. We got Kevin Owens and Big E versus Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz. Shinsuke versus Baron Corbin with the crown on the line. And Angelo Dawkins versus Otis. All tonight on SmackDown. Well, the 76ers play the Hawks at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. If Atlanta wins, that series is over with. Is that what it is? I I don't know. Is there a medical issue? Is there an emergency? Is there something that needs to happen early Monday morning that he's got to be at? I I don't know, and that's all it is is speculation. People are probably going to run with the Father's Day thing because it makes for a better headline, but you don't know. We don't know right now. It is odd, you know, again, for them to make this move out of nowhere because, I mean, what what are you going to do? You can't counter-program anything on ESPN. It doesn't matter what you do with the NBA. They're still going to dominate you. They're still going to beat you. But it, it could boost the rating up enough maybe maybe it will where it it makes it worth it i i don't know we'll just have to see kind of what shakes out of this and see exactly what the reasons were but we're probably not going to know them before sunday although that would be a great reason to check out wrestling observer radio this weekend by the way that leaves us uh four matches on the hell in a cell show four (laughs) got a pay-per-view sunday four matches we got bobby lashley drew mcintyre we got Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair. We have Bianca and Bailey, and we have Alexa Bliss and Shayna Baszler. Four matches. Mm. Maybe they'll announce four matches on SmackDown tonight. Oh, Brian, though, great news for you, though. That means that, that Shayna and Alexa may get some time. 
Bro. So we got four matches announced, and uh, maybe we could add some more. I mean, I, I suppose it's possible that they'll do Rey Mysterio and Roman Reigns tonight and shoot an angle leading to them wrestling again on mm-hmm. Sunday. But, I mean, yeah. you're going to shoot an angle in Hell in a Cell to lead to, what, another Hell in a Cell match? A regular <laughs> match? Like, I don't... I never know what's going on. <laughs> and usually when I figure it out, I still don't get it. The stuff... Whoosh, way over my head. Way over my head. I well, like the idea of I like the idea of promoting is now like an antiquated idea. We can't promote. No, no. No. Even so though it's called a promotion. Years. I don't know. Mm. This person That's said they've, they announced the Hell in a Cell match in the opening of SmackDown. They might retain viewers, which will bump the rating. I mean, that's obviously the theory, but I mean, again, if you would have announced this two weeks ago and promoted it last, like two weeks ago on Friday and last week on Friday, and then uh, and then everyone was all excited for tonight, I mean, I can see that bumping the number up, but the day before, I just, I don't know. Well, and like, what's the bump going to be? It's not like magically they're going to have three million viewers, you know, in, in for that part of the show. I could be wrong, but I mean... There's no numbers that would back that up. I mean, even with the names and even with the the stipulation, I mean, what do stipulations mean anymore? And and look how much faith that their fans have in them right now with some of this stuff. So, uh, again, even if you're thinking about getting a great rating out of this, is it really going to be that great? I mean, how? I, we'll, we'll see. Again, this is all, it, it's all very interesting, and there just seem to be obviously more moving parts to this, too. The Zoom meeting is three hours. The Zoom meeting would have only been two hours, except there's about an hour of people going, your mic's not on, Frank. There's like hours of this. Frank, your mic's not on. There was a day where if you would have said, Brian, you and John Moxley have a lot in common, I would have said, no, we have nothing in common. We don't have one thing in common. Well, here it is in 2021, and he's about to have a beautiful baby daughter on my birthday, in fact. Hmm. He is also an author. We're both grapplers. And he hates Zoom. I mean, I have more in common with him than most people. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.